The last thing we're looking at on day two is probability of independent and dependent events. This is really straightforward as far as things go. So when we look at the chance of flipping a tail, you would all tell me it's one half, which is perfectly correct. All right. What are the chances of flipping a tail than another tail? Well, we know it's one half the first time and one half the second time. What do we do in math when we're trying to figure out the probability of simultaneous events? Just like counting, we're going to multiply them. So one half times one half is one fourth. All right, what are the chances of flipping three tails in a row? Well, that's going to be one half to the third, which is one over eight. So just like counting, when we're looking for event A and event B, we're going to multiply those two probabilities together, and that's what this table says here. So let's go to a little different type of example. We have a six-question true-false uh, math quiz today. You forgot to do any studying last night. It should say studying. What are the chances you get all six correct? Well, on a true-false quiz, you have a one in two chance of getting the question correct if you're guessing. There are six questions, so what are the chances I get all six correct? That is a 1 in 64 chance of getting them all correct. Basically, it probably means you should study a smidge more. All right. If we look at a probability um, with cards, things kind of maybe will change up a little here when we have the idea of with replacement and without replacement. All right, so it says we're drawing a single card from the deck. What's the probability we draw a heart? Well, we know in the deck there are 13 hearts out of 52. Okay. My second event, it says we replace the card and draw another heart. All right. So if, if I put the card back, there are still 13 hearts, still 52 cards in a deck. One out of four times one out of four is one out of 16. Okay. The next two examples, things are going to change a little bit. All right. We have 13 hearts in the deck, 52 cards, but we want to draw another heart after we drew the first one, and we're not replacing the first card. So you need to ask yourself how many card or how many hearts are left after the first event. Well, now there's only 12 because I took one, I held on to it, and I didn't put it back. And there's only 51 cards in the deck. All right, so the event, or our second event, the probability changed based on the first event happening. When I multiply these out, you see that, surprise, surprise, our probability went down when we don't replace. Okay? Looking at three aces in a row without replacement, how many aces do we have in our deck to start? Well, there's four out of 52. All right, let's say that event happened. We want to draw another ace. We're not putting it back. All right, there's only three aces left out of a total of 51 cards. So now you drew the ace of spades. You drew the ace of clubs. You want to get either the ace of diamonds or hearts. How many hearts are left? Two out of 50. So the probability of those events following the first one are always impacted by those events. When we multiply them together, just like with counting, you guys, scientific notation is okay to use. You wind up with 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right. Conditional probability is stated down here. This is just saying that the probability of B conditioned on A is the probability of A and B over A. All right. All that essentially means is we're changing around the probability of our events following the first one based on the event happening, all right? So this three over 51, what's the probability of an ace and an ace based on that first event happening, all right? So all you have to remember is to change the probability as that event follows assuming the first one happened, all right? That's all you got. Practice as much as you can on the worksheet. We'll take a homework quiz at the end of the hour, remember? Make sure you understand this stuff. And then day three is all about binomial expansion.